Rhinos help pass Ukraine funding package that includes language for automatic impeachment if Trump terminates funding for Ukraine war. News blurps for February 12, 2024. In an unusual session held on Super Bowl Sunday, the U.S. Senate voted to move forward a substantial $95 billion aid package that will support Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan, with no southern border security provisions. The package includes $60 billion for Ukraine and $14 billion for Israel. The vote garnered support from Reno's, with a final tally of 67-27. According to The Hill, Schumer offered Republicans the chance to vote on amendments in exchange for expediting the legislative process. By a vote of 67-27, the Senate invoked cloture on Murray Substitute Amendment 1388 to H.R. 815, Legislative Vehicle for Supplemental Appropriations, the Senate Press Gallery wrote on X. 67 senators voted in favor of war funding, while 27 senators opposed the expenditure, all of whom were Republicans. On Monday morning, Trump supporting Senator J.D. Vance, R.O., posted a stunning report on X. According to Senator Vance, the Senate funding package includes language that makes it impossible for President Trump to terminate the Ukraine war funding into his second term. The language was inserted into the aid package with President Trump in mind. These dirty rhinos and Democrats voted on a bill that will send endless billions to Ukraine no matter how dire the situation is on the ground. Buried in the bill's text is an impeachment time bomb for the next Trump presidency if he tries to stop funding the war in Ukraine. We must vote against this disastrous bill, Senator Vance wrote. And 17 Republican rhinos supported this package. Lee called out his Republican colleagues for sending aid to Ukraine at the expense of America's own interests. By voting yes and passing this bill now, it empowers drug cartels, it dissolves our borders, it spends insane amounts of money that we don't have on the priorities of foreign countries all at the same time, he said. If the foreign aid passes the Senate, as is expected, the House must still act. Speaker Mike Johnson, RLA, would likely face a rebellion from members of the Republican conference if he brought the bill to the floor. Monday night, after the conclusion of the X space, Johnson seemed to throw cold water on the Senate's package, echoing earlier statements that Congress must address American border security first. In the absence of having received any single border policy change from the Senate, the House will have to continue to work its own will on these important matters, a Johnson statement read. America deserves better than the Senate's status quo. The timing before Monday night's vote is important, sending the message to any on-the-fence Republican senators that a vote on the unpopular aid package would imperil their political standing for legislation that will not become law. Some Democrats have insisted they will use all the parliamentary tools at their disposal to bring the bill to the floor, although a path forward for the legislation in the House is unclear. Senator Rand Paul wrote, Republicans need to be aware that this bill, supported by Mitch McConnell and almost all of Senate GOP leadership, sets in motion the next hyper-partisan Trump impeachment, before he's even elected. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, follow, and subscribe on Rumble, YouTube, X, and Facebook. Cyber News Sleuth signing out.